I'll pretend I can feel that. <laughs> Came issuing forth from the primeval mud. And then it was right, he said, let there be light. And there was, because he'd left him out to look. But the first thing he sees when he looks down is me. And in his angelic voice he went, yuck. <laughs> it's on for me. And you're trying to convince a hard and caring world you're not really extinct. No one says, Oh, look, there's an arc, like they might do a camel cat. They just give us a cake or a hug with a stick, and they say, What the hell do you call that? Very good for a first chorus. Well, you ask a zebra what gives him most pleasure he might say life on the savannah cause he don't give a toss that he looks like a cross between an old horse and an upright piano when kids at the zoo get their first view of a zebra they always say ah but when they see me they react differently and that is what makes life so hard. It's hard for me in an odd clock. It's a lot harder than you might think. All day on your pins and you're trying to convince a hard, uncaring world. You're not really extinct. No one says, oh look, there's an odd clock. Like they might do a camel cast. They just give us a kick or a poke with a stick and they say, What the hell do you call that? Ask a giraffe, they'll say it's no laugh. Being 20 foot high is a bind. He sees over the trees with the greatest speed. Reach to scratch his own. Well, never mind, but he'll stab and say, Heck, it's a pain in the neck. And I could not say he was wrong. Wouldn't you be self righteous if you got tonsillitis and your tonsils were ten foot six long? <laughs> it's hard for me and hard It's a lot harder than you might think. All day on your pins and you're trying to convince a hard, uncaring world you're not really extinct. No one says, Oh, look, there's an hard part. Like they might do a camel or cat. They just give us a kick or a poke with a stick and they say, What the hell do you call that? Now take the hyena, cause he must have been at the back when they gave the brains out. <laughs> he can giggle all day in that lunatic way, and he hasn't a clue what he's laughing about. There was one, got a shock, when he fell in the walk of a Chinese cafe in Bangkok. The chef was no ass, he just turned up the gas. And he made a complete laughing stop
mistake. You say what the hell do you call that? Well done. Now an art bark's quite mild. They're not vicious or wild. They're renowned for being timid and shy. They don't go in for fighting or scratching and biting. They won't harm a dillo or even a fly. They can run and fetch sticks or do silly tricks like lie down and play dead for the king. And you'll never regret having one as a pet. Then there'll be one less of us to sing. It's hard for being an odd walk. It's a lot harder than you might think. All day on your pins and you're trying to convince A hard, uncaring world you're not really extinct No one says, oh look, there's an art park Like they might do a camel or cat They just give us a kick or a bug with a stick And they say, what the hell do you call that? They say, what 